Good afternoon and happy Labor Day, awesome people. Hey, this is uh, Nick to the Plus. Uh, had off today, Labor Day. Who had off today? Who worked? What did you do today? Did anybody work out? We had a good uh, swim group this morning at Comal because Das Rec was closed, so we had about 15, 20 people swimming. I was late. I ran with Bolty Dog down to the river and then we both jumped in to cool off and talk to the swimmers and then we ran back but it's pretty cool. Uh, Bolty Dog, you know, he's pretty protective. If the boys go into the water, um, he freaks out, you know, he's barking, he's wanting to jump in with them and I don't know if he wants to be with them or save them but he wants to get in that water. But uh, it wasn't as intense as with the boys, but he wanted to get into the water with the swimmers. I let him go, and he he bolted past the swimmers. He was a great swimmer, right? He's, he's a bolt in the water, right? Anyway, uh, ain't that a peach? This is uh, day two of fruits and vegetable challenge to eat another fruit, a different fruit, every day for 30 days. Uh, I'm not going to chew and talk to you again like yesterday. I also don't have my awesome assistant, Mathis, my son, uh, telling you facts. But um, there's a peach. There's a big peach. So um, I have a love-hate relationship with peaches. Um, they're more messy than apples. I don't really like messy fruits like watermelon and peaches. Stuff like that that gets sticky. If I'm outside next to water, I'm going to wash off. It's cool, but um, I for sure don't like eating peaches in a car or something where I'm going to get all sticky and be sticky. You know, I am a medic. I'm EMS. I, I deal with blood all the time, so that's kind of sticky and messy. And, you know, it, I'm not as bad as I used to be, but, you know, in general, don't like st sticky peaches, but I like peaches they're good they're a little sweet I'm not a sweet person I maybe kind of sweet but um, you know I don't like all the sweetness and the messiness of peaches but I overall I like them but those are the kind of things I feel about so uh, some facts about peaches uh, the peach state is Georgia I have family um, Kathy and Uncle Carl and Heather and her family, uh, my family in Georgia, peach, peach tree, uh, Kathy and uh, Carl actually live in Peach Tree City. So, what's up? And um, so that's Georgia, and that's where the pageants are coming from for um, the week of the 12th. So they'll be in Kerrville again. If you want to come, join us for that presentation about health and life let me know so uh, August we missed it August is the month of the peach um, the best time for peaches is June to August uh, peaches have good vitamin A and C in them right but like I showed you on that chart yesterday with phytonutrients um, apples uh, they have over over close to a thousand phytonutrients in them peaches maybe have some overlap but each individual fruit and vegetable has their unique phytonutrients there's over 10,000 phytonutrients I don't think the scientist has found all of them right but all those phytonutrients they're nature's chemicals right uh, the more of those nature's chemical we put in our body uh, is gonna create a synergy in our body, you know, help our liver and our kidney and our heart and our cardiovascular system all work better. So that's why I'm kind of doing this to educate you on uh, why fruits and vegetables are important, right? Another fact is there's two types of peaches, the cling stone and the free stone. The free stone is easier to eat, right? But they're probably equally as nutritious. Large peach has 70 calories, 3 grams of fiber. So this peach, uh, 
it was up front and I was in a hurry and I fell to marketing. You walk right in the door, has a nice price on it. Um, peaches uh, were 40 cent, 48 cents each, right? So I fell for it, but I looked it up today after I bought the peach. The peach is on the dirty dozen list, right? So again, if you go just Google dirty dozen fruits and vegetables, um, for those for sure you want to buy organic, right? Because for the main thing, avoiding chemicals and toxins, right? So there's the phytonutrients that are nature's chemicals that help your body, detox your body, help your body uh, function. There's uh, the pesticides, toxins, environmental contributors uh, that are other chemicals that go into our body that harm our body and make it harder to heal and be healthy, right? So it's like a battle going on, right? So, you know, age and health, health is all about healing. How fast can we heal, right? So if we have more of the phytonutrients in our body, versus less toxins, we're gonna heal faster. But if we have more toxins, we're gonna heal slower. Uh, some people claim that they're, they don't, their body doesn't agree with them on certain fruits and vegetables. Uh, the reason for that is because they may have more toxins in their body. We're all at a different level of healing. Um, so if we have more toxins, and we put good nutrition in us, we're gonna have a reaction a lot of times a detox or you know a reaction that we might say, oh well I don't agree with my body doesn't agree with that fruits and vegetables, right? So you need to kinda of think about that, but I'll talk more about that later. So peach, uh, the apples I bought yesterday, organic apples were $3.98. So as I'm doing this challenge, I'm gonna keep a, a tab on what I'm spending to eat 30 different fruits and vegetables, right? Um, <clears throat> so, uh, kind of a prelude. See, these are all the 30 fruits and vegetables that we're gonna eat over the next 30 days, right? Um, I don't know how I'm gonna find acerola cherry, maybe. Um, some of the things are gonna be hard to find. Uh, black currant, um, cocoa maybe, um, where is it, there's some other things, there's dates, all that stuff. So um, the shred tan that starts on September 8th, you still have time to order your product, right? So what is the shred tan? Um, eat more real food. Um, have the trio every day and this is including all those phytonutrients all these have their own phytonutrients so it's gonna be detoxing our system right we get more phytonutrients into our system uh, we're gonna be healthier less toxic more healthier right um, and I have two complete shakes a day, and so that's even including more fruits and vegetables, right? Um, so it's 30 plus um, more fruits and vegetables. Then we get plenty of water, seven to eight hours of sleep, and exercise most days, right? What do we want to eliminate in the shred tin is gluten, dairy, caffeine, alcohol, processed foods, uh, staying away from artif artificial and refined sugars and don't eat after 6 p.m. right so all that stuff for 10 days uh, resets our system detoxifies us gets us healthier better nutrition all that kind of stuff right so uh, contact me uh, go to nick to the plus.com if you want to be part of the shred tent start September we're going to have a meal prep September 8th that actually starts on September 9th, right? So uh, join us. Again, go to Nick to the Plus Facebook. Go under events. There's 
a number of events coming up. I've set up all the events on Nick to the Plus Facebook. Um, and also it'll be, I'll have updates on the blog and pop-up events on nicktotheplus.com. The pop-up events will actually be on Hill Country Playground co.com so hillcountryplaygroundco.com so i know that's a lot to remember but just message me ask me questions you know i'm here for you educating you um you know it seems like a simple thing eating a fruit and vegetable every day but there's a lot of information that goes with each one of these little golden nuggets right that we eat every day right very juicy and sticky. All right. Well, y'all have a great Labor Day, the rest of the Labor Day. Great week. And live to the plus.